In today's video, I am going to be breaking down some of the best Kobe Bryant basketball moves that he did. And of course, we're gonna be learning those today. Let's get down to it. Okay, so my favorite Kobe Bryant move, actually one of my favorite of all time, is when he would size up a player by going through his legs, doing a quick crossover, making it look like he's going to be attacking that right side. He would then bring that ball back, attack the left side, go through his legs again, and make it look like he's about to attack that right side one more time, and he would take a step. He would take one more dribble, turn around, and take that shot. Now, a little bit quicker, it looks like this. Okay, so a little bit quicker is going to be a quick crossover, crossover back, crossover, dribble, and then take that shot. Another move that Kobe Bryant was really known for was his ability to be able to use shoulder fakes, especially in the mid post, to be able to get a wide open shot for him. So really quickly, if he was posting up and he got that ball, he would do a quick dribble towards that left side, he would turn and then he would take that shot. So to do this move, it's actually very, very simple. All you need to do is, when you receive that ball, if you wanna try and fake left to go right, what you would be doing is taking a quick left foot drop into your player, moving your shoulder towards that left side, turning, pivoting on that right foot, and then taking that shot. He would also do this same move when attacking the middle of the key. He would then do a quick drop step turn and then take that shot. Now, Kobe Bryant was one of the best footwork players of all time. Him and Michael Jordan and Hakeem Olajuwon were some of the best. But what you need to do is just attack, 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 take that dribble, gather on that foot, pivot back, make it look like you're gonna spin. That defender's gonna drop off you. You're gonna turn and take that shot. This is a very, very good move for really any position. Because if you're a low post player, you can attack the middle. If you're a guard or a forward, you can attack the high post. And this can give you a ton of points. And then whatever you do on one side, you wanna do on the exact other. Remember, drop that, that ball, dribble that ball on that left foot spin back now if you're right-handed what you're going to need to do is a bit different on this side so you're going to kick and then when you shoot you're going to need to kick that leg out to get your right side of your body in line if you pound it turn and try to spin all the way back around that's going to be way too slow and your defender is going to keep up with you you need to do a quick half turn kick that foot out and that's going to allow you to be able to get that basket a lot easier with a lot less coverage. Now the next move I'm gonna show you is the last one where he would attack either right or left. He would then drop that foot, turn back around and take that shot. This is extremely useful if you have a faster defender or a defender who can keep up or is actually a lot quicker than you, you can lose them this way. Now I personally, when I do this move, I like to take a quick hop into it and land on both feet at the same time so when I do turn around, I can. But the reason why I like to take a little bit of a hop is it basically gives that defender even more reason to think that I'm going to attack that side. I hope that this video helps you become a better basketball player. If it does, hit that like button and subscribe, and I'll see you guys again in my next video. I post twice a day, it's crazy.